So let's have a look at the following problem. Here we are asked to find the points that lie on the ellipse given by this equation where the function f has its extreme values. So basically what we want to do is find those points that maximise and minimise f subject to the constraint that the points must lie on the ellipse. Okay, so the notation I've used is g, the right hand side of this equation, and f is just x, y. So the function's f, the constraint is g. And this is a, a Lagrange multiplier type of question. Okay, so we use so called Lagrange multipliers. Okay, so we introduce our Lagrangian function, L. Okay, so L is just defined as F minus lambda G, where lambda is the uh, Lagrange multiplier. And the theory of Lagrange multipliers is tell us, tells us that grad F minus lambda grad g is just zero. Okay, now that might sound like a lot of uh, stuff going on there, but essentially what we do is we find the critical points of, of L. That's all we're doing. So to find the critical points, we calculate dl dx and dl dy and set them to zero. So dl dx is just going to be df dx minus lambda dg dx. So df dx is going to be y. dg dx is 2x. And similarly, dl dy is just going to be x minus lambda for y. Okay. We set these two partial derivatives equal to zero and then solve. But how do we do that? We've got two equations and three unknowns. Well, don't forget we have the constraint g equals zero and we can use that to our advantage. So, what I'm going to do with these two particular equations, I'm going, I'm going to multiply the first one by x and the second one by y, so they have the same term here and here. We'll both have, a, have an xy and an xy. Alright. So multiplying the, the top equation by x, I get xy equals lambda 2x squared and down here, multiplied by y, I got xy equals 4 lambda y squared. Okay, so now we can solve these two equations. The lambda here cannot be 0, so we get x squared equals 2y squared. Okay, so what we really want to determine here is a specific points. So we have to go a bit further now. What we're going to use is our constraint to help us solve for y. So I'm going to replace x squared with 2y squared. I'll get 4y four squared, four squared equals 1. So y is going to equal plus or minus one half. All right. Well, if y equals plus or minus one half, I can go back to here and work out what x is. x 
squared is going to be one half also. So taking square roots, x is going to be plus or minus one on root two. Okay, so let's put our, our points together. These are our y points, these are our x points. So there's four points in total. Okay, so one on route two and one. Uh, minus one on route two. Minus one half, so that's our first one, our second one, and then let's mix the signs up. Okay, so there are our four points that lie on our ellipse, g equals zero where this particular function has its extreme values. By extreme values, of course, we mean f has a maximum or a minimum value. Which points will give you maximums and which points will give you minimums? Well, if you put the, these values into x, y, you're going to get one on two root two, and the same with this one. If you put these values in to our function, you'll get minus one on two root two. So these two points lead to a maximum, whereas these two points lead to a minimum. 